My beloved people, again, I greet you all in the holy name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I greet you in the name of our King Jesus. All those who are in Jesus Meets Ministries family, I remember you and glorify God. Every day I'm meeting you through this online facility, through YouTube and Facebook, and I'm sharing the word of God to you. Not only you are hearing it, but everyone in your house are hearing it. I believe that you are blessed. Not only that, you are sharing to many people. Through this, you know, kingdom of God has been expanding every day. Amen. In this glorious ministry field, you are standing with me shoulder to shoulder. And I'm just praising God, thinking of you. All the labors that you are doing will not go into vain. I'm just telling you with my ministry experience, be bold in the Lord and hear what God is saying to you. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verses 1 When Solomon had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. My dear beloved people of God, Bible says the temple was filled with the presence of the Lord. You know, the fire came from heaven and filled the earth. I told you already that you and me are the temple of the Lord. But one thing you need to be to concentrate here is the person who wanted to build the temple was Solomon's father. God used him greatly and he was a blessed vessel in the sight of the Lord. But God never gave that blessed opportunity to him because in 1 Chronicles 22 verses 8 when we read, But the word of the Lord came to me saying, You have shed much blood and have made great wars. You shall not build a house for my name. All the days of David were filled with wars, no peace. But Solomon was a man of peace. God told Solomon, you will build my temple. The father was unable to build. He wanted to build. He had a desire to build but never did. But one thing we can learn from here. You should keep your peace. When you keep your peace, and when you pray, God's presence will come and fill your house. There's a devil who will come in plenty of ways to break your peace. In spiritual realm, you should be very sensitive and keep your peace. And be able to pray for that. The God who gives us peace, help us to protect the peace. And the Spirit of God will help you to keep the peace. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, the reason of our peace, you are the Lord of peace. Oh Lord, help us to be in peace so that we can pray in peace. And when we pray in peace, then only we can receive the Spirit from above, Lord. Even now, Lord, in your children's house, 24 hours, in all the days of their week, and all through the month, all through the year, 365 days, let your peace be in their houses. Fill them with your presence and protect them. Thank you for answering our prayers, Lord. Let the grace uphold us to whomever they want to share. Let their houses be filled with peace and grace and let your anointing be filled in their house, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My beloved people, God of peace be with you. See, you're going to share to many people and God's kingdom is going to be built because of your sharing. God's name be glorified. If God wills, we want to meet you again. God bless you. Our address, Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalaya Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836, 7299546363. Email ID, gpsrobinson at hotmail.com, gps.office at jesusmeets.org. Website address, www.gpsrobinson.org.